Everyone, we all know factories are crucial to modern day life, where companies can produce their products on a massive scale to keep up with our global demand. They are some of the largest industrial buildings in the world. So join me for today's video as we count down the 15 biggest factories on Earth. Number 15. Volkswagen Wolfsburg Plant, Germany Volkswagen is one of the largest car manufacturers in the world, so yeah, it seems fitting that the company operates one of the planet's biggest vehicle factories. It's located in Wolfsburg, Germany. It was originally built in the 1940s, and the town around it was built to house all of the workers that were needed. And still, to this day, more than half of the residents are employed by VW. The factory itself covers an area of 70 million square feet, and in 2019 produced around 700,000 cars, which is, on average, 3,500 every day. To do this, the plant has 63,000 workers, and since 1945, more than 45 million vehicles have been built there, representing all of Volkswagen's most famous models. There's a dedicated 47 miles of roads and 37 miles of railway track to serve it, and it's on the shore of a 200-mile-long canal that connects it to the coastal ports. This means that the transport infrastructure is able to accommodate 2,100 trucks and rail cars that deliver more than 21,000 parts there each and every day. And then they take the produced cars to where they're needed to go as soon as possible. It is the perfect example of German efficiency and manufacturing prowess that has been instrumental in VW becoming the worldwide brand that it is today. Number 14. Lauma Fabrics, Latvia Located in Latvia, the Lauma Fabrics factory is a huge textile materials production facility that produces almost 200 miles worth of fabric every year. While this may not be as much as some other factories, it's the high-quality type of material that's made there that requires this factory to be so large, as the company mainly focuses on the production of lingerie. To provide for this, it makes elastic knitted fabrics, laces, and embroideries. Beyond these, they also make high-grade medical fabrics and custom designs for other clothing manufacturers, with the materials made there being sent to more than 200 different companies across 20 countries. On-site, there are more than 460 employees who are responsible for running the machinery, and this facility covers an area of 67 acres for the design, production, and storage of everything that's made. This one factory is so crucial to the lingerie industry around the world that if it were to close, many of the famous brands that you see in stores would quickly run out of supplies. And Lauma Fabrics itself brings in so much money that it's one of the biggest taxpayers in the whole of the country. Number 13. Longhua Science and Technology Plant, Shenzhen, China Smartphones and computers are now almost vital to life in the modern world, and they're in so much demand that around 375 million smartphones alone are sold each year. To keep up with the production, the companies responsible for the devices have built vast factories that churn out thousands per day, and one of the biggest of all is the Foxconn facility in Shenzhen region of China. The Longhua Science and Technology Plant is where the vast majority of Apple iPhones are produced, and the size is insane. It's often referred to as the Foxconn City. It covers an area of 1.2 square miles. It's got 15 different factories, huge accommodation complexes, four swimming pools, a fire department, entertainment and shopping centers, a bank, restaurants, and even its own television network. While this may seem like a lot, it's what the company has realized is the most efficient way to get the work done. They employ many hundreds of thousands of people there, most of whom who live there or in the surrounding villages. And with them working 12-hour shifts six days a week, the company has to provide everything else they could possibly need within easy reach. The success of this facility has, of course, been subject to controversy because of the condition workers are exposed to. And it's yet to be seen if any other companies decide to try to replicate this model. Number 12. Hyundai Ulsan Factory, South Korea If you drive a car made by Hyundai, there's a good chance that it was built at the company's base in Ulsan, South Korea, which is one of the largest car production facilities on the planet. Built over an area of 161 million square feet, there are five separate factories on site, which are responsible for building 14 different models that are then shipped around the world. As well as these, there's also engine and transmission factories, and a future-facing fuel cell factory, too. It takes 34,000 workers to keep it in operation, who are split into two shifts, and at any time there's at least a thousand workers sleeping in the on-site accommodation. Producing one car every 10 seconds, which adds up to 1.53 million a year, the factory isn't even working at full capacity, as it's only open five days a week and shuts down for a full week every summer. 
Hyundai has invested heavily in worker well-being and provides 24 on-site restaurants, accommodation for a quarter of the workforce, healthcare centers, water features, and green spaces. In a sign of how busy the plant is, it also has its own dock that can hold three ships, each of which transports 4,000 cars and takes 10 hours to load, which means loading is a seven-day operation. Number 11. Austal USA, Alabama Austal USA is an American branch of the Australian company, and it's one of the biggest country's shipbuilders. And with a huge shipyard on Blakely Island, Alabama, it's been responsible for building a number of important ships, and more recently, some of the latest designed U.S. Navy vessels, thanks to special dispensation that allows them to do so. The headquarters is sat on a more than 5 million square foot plot of land, which includes the factory, assembly yard, admin offices, and support facilities over an area of 734,000 square feet with the rest left open for development as needed. This setup has worked well for Austal because in late 2021, they signed a new arrangement with the Navy to build two Navajo steel ships. And to complete this, they're currently building a brand new factory to the exact specs needed. Spearhead class ships, Independence class ships, and various other combat vessels have also been built there, as are high-speed passenger catamaran ferries and various other custom designs too. Number 10. Samsung Factory, Bac Ninh, Vietnam Samsung is one of the leading electronics manufacturers in the world, and with such a huge business selling smartphones and tablets, they've invested heavily in production plants across the globe. Half of what it makes, though, comes from its factories in Vietnam, and the largest of these is Bac Ninh. Costing an estimated $2.5 billion to develop and build, it covers an area of around 272 acres and currently produces 17 million devices per year, which is on average around 46,000 a day. The company employs around 65,000 people at the facility, with roles available for people with all levels of training and experience. Despite being one of the most efficient and productive electronic factories on Earth, it's still not enough to fulfill the overwhelming demand for certain products. This means that within the next few years, it's destined to get even bigger. Samsung already has permission to invest a further billion dollars to increase output by 47%, and the work on the expansion is well underway. Number 9. Tesla Gigafactory 3, Shanghai, China as one of the most valuable automotive manufacturers in the world, Tesla is rapidly expanding its production capacity to keep up with demand for its electric vehicles. Rather than building small facilities, the company prefers to keep all parts of the process under one roof, so it has a number of so-called gigafactories that cover the largest markets across the globe. Tesla leased a 210-acre plot of land in Shanghai, China to build what's known as Gigafactory 3, and after years of construction, the building covers an area of around a third of a square mile. With 2,000 employees, it's where the final assembly of the Tesla Model 3 and Tesla Model Y cars are completed, with further capacity for the production of motors, seats, and powertrain assemblies. At first, the factory was set to build 3,000 cars a week there, with the final target figure being 250,000 per year. But now that this has been achieved, further expansion works are underway. The plan is now for the plant to have an output of approximately a half a million electric vehicles per year that are destined for sale in the Chinese market, and a further 200,000 that will be exported to countries like Australia and New Zealand with right-hand drive. This now makes the Gigafactory 3 the largest of all the Tesla facilities, where it's responsible for around half of the electric vehicles produced in China that are exported and is helping to drive sales of EVs within the Chinese market, where the brand sits at the top of the premium end of what's available. Number 8. Jean-Luc Lagardier, France in the 1990s, Airbus, one of the world's largest aircraft manufacturers, embarked on a project to go head-to-head -head with Boeing 747s to offer a brand new supersized long-distance passenger aircraft. The result would become known as the A380, and it broke records for being the largest commercial jet ever created. By 2003, the company already had 100 orders, but all of its existing manufacturing facilities were simply too small to be able to effectively construct them. With parts being produced all around the world, a brand new complex was built in France, which was called Jean-Luc Lagardière. 35,000 tons of steel were used to construct the core structures of the plant's buildings, meant to ensure outside conditions don't affect what's happening inside. The assembly halls were surrounded with 2,500 tons worth of steel cladding. The main A380 assembly hall measures 820 feet long, 377 feet wide, and 151 feet tall, with a total floor area of 1.3 million square feet. 
All of the 254 A380s that were built were completed at this plant, and it's almost a shame that the project turned out to be a failure for Airbus, with the company having to write off billions of dollars after being unable to sell enough units. A380s are now no longer being made, and the plan now is for Jean-Luc Lagardiere to take on a more varied responsibility, with newer, greener aircraft designs destined to be built there. Number 7. Avtovaz – Togliari Plant, Russia Avtovaz is a car company that most people around the world have never actually heard of, which is surprising for the fact that it's a significant producer of vehicles. But it makes sense when you hear that it only actually makes cars for sale within the Russian market. It was first founded in 1966 by the Soviet government as a state-run organization, and it was a project in conjunction with Fiat, whereby the company would assist in the design of vehicles. A huge factory was built in the early 1970s, with the goal of building 220,000 cars per year, and it required so many workers that a brand new town called Toliati was built around it, and at its peak was home to hundreds of thousands of Avtovaz employees. Responsible for producing models such as the Oka and Sputnik, the company was extremely successful, and in 2008, Renault actually purchased 25% of the shares in a deal believed to be worth around a billion dollars. At the time, the Russian car market was booming, and this saw a series of expansions on the site of the factory to significantly ramp up production. With automation taking the place of many jobs, there are now around 36,000 permanent employees, and this Toyati plant is able to produce around half a million vehicles per year. It was almost set for another expansion, too, after striking a deal to sell cars with the Chevrolet branding, and Renault bought the remaining shares to turn it into a subsidiary in 2019. Due to the Russian invasion of Ukraine in 2022, though, Renault has since sold the company back to the Russian government for just one euro, and it's yet to be seen if the plant at Toliati will continue to operate at that same level. Number 6. NASA Vehicle Assembly Building Anyone who has visited or simply driven past the Kennedy Space Center in Florida will be familiar with the NASA Vehicle Assembly Building, which is one of the largest buildings in the world, by far the biggest single-story building on the planet, and has four of the largest doors ever made. Construction was completed in 1966, giving it a floor area of 8 acres and a height of 526 feet, and it's there that NASA puts together all the various components to build spacecraft before transporting them the short distance to the launch pads. At first, it was designed to assemble the Apollo-Saturn V space vehicles, but in subsequent years it was also where the space shuttles were connected to their external fuel tanks and rocket boosters. It was so vital that the structure would properly protect the craft inside. It took almost 100,000 tons of steel, and the foundation was made up of 30,000 cubic yards of concrete. It's able to withstand the forces of hurricanes and tropical storms, and despite being more than half a century old, very few significant repairs have actually been needed. Activity at the building reduced following the closure of the space shuttle program, but it's now in operation again as the place where the new space launch system heavy rocket is being assembled. Number 5. Maya Werf Dachhalle II, Papenburg, Germany Located in the city of Papenburg in Germany on the River Ems, the Maya Werft shipyard is one of the largest in the world. It first opened in 1795 as a place that specialized in the construction of wooden vessels, upgraded to iron vessels in 1874, and is now exclusively a yard that builds luxury cruise liners. To accommodate the enormous size of those ships, the company built the Dachhalle II, which is the fourth largest building on Earth, and it's so large that the latest Disney and Royal Caribbean international vessels were built inside of it. The company has 3,300 employees at this shipyard alone, and the Dachhalle II, after an extension, now measures 1,653 feet long, 410 feet wide, and 246 feet tall. Despite the sheer size, the facility can still produce just three cruise ships per year, and once they've completed, they're all released into the river before completing the 22-mile voyage to the ocean. Amazingly, despite the size, the company already has plans for further expansion to keep in competition with newer shipbuilders elsewhere in the world, with the Dachala II only just being big enough for the current class of ships they're building there. And if the industry keeps going the way it is, it'll soon be required to make ones that are even bigger. Number 4. Belvedere Assembly Plant, Illinois Originally opening in 1965 in Belvedere, Illinois, the Belvedere Assembly Plant is operated by Chrysler, where it produces the Jeep Cherokee. It was built over 280 acres of land. The factory provides 5.3 million square feet of floor space. It's right next to the Chrysler Satellite Stamping Plant, which provides sheet metal parts for the production line. And since it first opened, Belvedere is now thought to have made at least 10 million vehicles. 
The body shop in the plant is fully automated with 780 robots that can change their tools as needed in less than a minute. The technology involved means that the factory is able, if needed, to produce three models of a vehicle at the same time while testing a fourth, although the company rarely pushes that to its capacity. As well as the main production floor, the plant also has 38,000 square feet of simulation room, which is where a miniature production process can be mocked up to ensure the positioning of workstations and even the amount of distance walked by workers can be predicted and made more efficient before being rolled out across the whole factory. Number 3. Kia Hwaseong Plant, South Korea Kia is a South Korean automobile manufacturer that's become a name known around the world for affordable and reliable cars, and as a result has 14 manufacturing facilities across the planet in eight different countries. Four of these are in South Korea alone, but by far the largest of these is the Hwaseong plant, which is also often referred to as Autoland Hwaseong. Covering an enormous site of around 34 and a half million square feet, it first entered operation in 1991, and it's where the company makes its K5, K7, Serato, Sorento, and Borrego models. In a typical year, it'll be expected to produce around 300 to 400,000 vehicles, most of which are for export around the world. But there's more on site than simply manufacturing capabilities. It's also where Kia designs and tests new concepts, and to assist with doing this, the Huesong plant features a high speed oval and 12 different test tracks that provide a total of 8.7 miles worth of tarmac that's made up of the 32 most commonly used road surfaces from around the world. Number 2 General Electric, Pune, India. In 2020, General Electric ranked as the 33rd biggest company in terms of revenue in the United States, and this comes from being active in four main industrial sectors, aviation, power, renewable energy, and digital. They are therefore involved in producing a wide range of different products, and by 2015 announced that the opening of a new facility in Pune, India, which was described as being a brilliant factory, Costing more than $200 million to build, it covered 67 acres, which is approximately the same size as 38 football fields. Inside, 1,500 workers share production lines, but the genius in the way the factory has been designed is that it can quickly change between the products that it makes. This means that one moment they'll be fabricating 3D printers and laser inspection technology, and the next they'll be making jet engines, wind turbines, and water treatment technology. As well as being a huge facility, it's also one of the most technologically advanced with the way the systems connect to the supply, service, and distribution networks, meaning that the factory is always making exactly what the company needs for its various interests globally. Number 1. Boeing Everett Factory, Washington State Boeing is one of the biggest aircraft producers in the world and builds at least 400 commercial planes each year. That's no mean feat, considering how complex each of those vehicles are. And to make all of this possible, the company has several gigantic factories. The biggest of all is in the city of Everett, Washington, and was originally constructed in 1967 to build 747s. In the time since, it's been continually expanded and now covers an area of 98.7 acres and includes the largest building in terms of volume on Earth, which has a whopping 472 million cubic feet of interior space. Now used to manufacture 747s, 767s, and 777s, more than 30,000 people work on site, and it's such a huge facility that there's enough room to fit the whole of Disneyland in there, with a further 12 acres left over. As well as the manufacturing base, the Everett site also has its own fire department, daycare center, security team, and fitness center, and it also welcomes more than 150,000 visitors in a normal year to its store, theater, and factory tour. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Watch our binge watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.